<laughs> what up YouTube? Cowboy like me back again. Uh, I was just commenting back and forth with Odeed and um, he reminded me of a fucking funny story. And I had to share it with you guys. By the way, I'm drinking a Magnum. Yeah, I've already popped the top. It must mean it's apple juice or something. Since I didn't do it on camera. Uh, I'm drinking a Magnum. The official drink of Badass Andy. Hell yeah to that shit. Okay. <laughs> with that out of the way. OD. I was in Los Angeles back in 19... I think the last time I was there was in 1997. And... <laughs> I was working at the Thousand Oaks Mall in Thousand Oaks, you know, right outside of Los Angeles. And um, basically, what I was doing, I used to work for an outfit that we built kiosks. We built shit for malls and casinos. That's all we built. And we built a lot of kiosks. If you don't know what a kiosk is, everybody go Google it because I'm not going to sit there and explain. Actually, I'll explain this. Okay, like if you're walking through the mall, you have your main stores, you know, on each side. Well, when you're going down through the mall, they've got those little bitty fucking shops that got the little roofs on them and shit. That's what I built. I built those for almost every mall in America. And, yeah, there's a lot of good money involved in that shit, too. But I don't work. I don't do that no more. The bottom line. I got out of that about, about five years ago, I guess. I quit messing with that shit. Anyway... I was putting up a really big kiosk in the fucking The Oaks Mall in Thousand Oaks, California. And <laughs> I remember I had I had a Dodge Dooley. It was like it was like a 1996 Dodge Dooley, you know, it single cab. And I had a gooseneck trailer that I had on it, you know, big ass. It was a big ass fucking truck, big ass fucking trailer to haul this shit around, you know, all over the country. And I was backed up to the Oaks, the Oaks Mall, I was backed up to the door, you know, I had the trailer backed up like two feet from the fucking doors. And this was at night, the mall was closed. Because they wouldn't let you do this shit, you know, during the day. While the mall, you know, while there's people walking around and shit, I mean, you can't do this shit. So I had to do it at night. So the mall closed at like 9, I started work at like 9.30. I actually finished setting up this particular kiosk, it was a 20 foot by 20 foot kiosk that they sold uh, sports memorabilia out of and <laughs> I remember I was I had just finished and I was loading everything back up in the truck actually I, I had taken my dad with me because you know I was like fuck it, I need somebody to roll with me to California you know let's go and I took my dad you know here to have come with me you know all expense paid trip you know just roll with me you know help me out a little bit and I'll pay your hotel, food, you know, the whole nine yards. So my dad's like, alright, so he rolls with me. So me and my dad are at this fucking mall, and we set up this fucking kiosk, and we get done about, oh, I'd say about four o'clock in the morning, and I'm throwing all these little foam pieces, you know, and belt straps and shit, you know, ratchet straps, back into the trailer, and I close the fucking doors of the trailer, we hop in the fucking truck, and no sooner than I fucking start the fucking truck up, all of a sudden, poof, fucking spotlights and shit, poof, helicopter fucking comes flying over, fuck cops, there's cops out their fucking door, driver, get out of the fucking truck, you know, driver, put the keys out the window, get out of the truck, lay your fucking face down on the goddamn concrete, blah, 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 and I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> And these motherfuckers, dude, they fucking were just surrounded. I mean, there was cops just as far as I could see in each direction. At least 50 fucking cop cars. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? So I'm down on the fucking ground, I got my fucking hands on my head, and I'm just wondering, what the fuck did I do? They come up, they fucking grab my ass up, they handcuff me, drag me back to the fucking cop car. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Anyway, bottom line, <laughs> what it turned out happening was uh, I had this big old cart thing that I would haul shit back and forth from the trailer to where I was in the mall. And apparently, since it was so heavy, when I was rolling past the jewelry store, it set off the fucking alarm in the jewelry store. So they thought that this motherfucker from Texas with his truck backed up to the fucking mall robbed the fucking jewelry store while the mall was closed. 
So they actually was waiting for me to leave because I had already loaded up all the jewelry, I guess. And uh, you should have seen the look on them motherfuckers' faces when they fucking searched the truck, searched every fucking thing, went in the mall, found out that the, the jewelry store had not been broke into. You should have seen the look on their fucking faces, dude. They were fucking eating crow. Because they were like, oh, well, I guess you didn't do it. And I'm like, no shit, I didn't fucking do it, you dumbasses. <laughs> but that's what they thought. They thought I robbed a jewelry store in Thousand Oaks, fucking California. Fucking pigs, man. I swear to God. Fucking pigs. All right, y'all. <laughs> this is Cowboy Like Me. Oh, oh, one more thing. I went and ate breakfast. I stayed at the Thousand Oaks Inn. It was a $400 a night fucking hotel. Really wasn't worth it, but it was right next door to the mall. And I remember I went to the, they had some famous restaurant. I can't remember the name of the fucking restaurant. I remember the sign had like a Shoney's Big Boy dude on it, but it wasn't a Shoney's. I don't know. I went there for breakfast and I ordered chicken fried steak and eggs for breakfast. And they brought me out a plate of chicken fried steak and eggs. And the gravy on the fucking chicken fried steak was fucking pink. And I remember thinking to myself, well, not to myself, but aloud, what the fuck is this? They said cream gravy. I said, that ain't no goddamn cream gravy. I'm from fucking Texas. I make cream gravy. God damn it, we got cream gravy pumping through our fucking veins. I'm from the South. What's up? You know? And they're like, no, sir, that's cream gravy. I was like, no, cream gravy is not fucking pink. And they said, yes, that is cream gravy. I said, you fucking bring that goddamn chef out here and let me tell him how to make some fucking gravy. Chef comes out and he's like, that is cream gravy. I said, no, it ain't fucking cream gravy. It don't taste like cream gravy. It don't look like cream gravy. Cream gravy is fucking, you know, semi-white colored. You know, it could be a little fucking bird. <laughs> and, you know, a little pepper flakes in it and shit. You know, it is not fucking pink. Anyway, I had to fucking write down step by step to this fucking chef how to make fucking cream gravy because apparently he didn't fucking know. Anyway, with that being said, peace. Cowboy like me. Funny story. Haha. <laughs>